Hey everybody, uh, I just thought that I would make an Eglius wig tutorial because I haven't really seen a lot on the internet and I think he's one of the more complicated characters to make the wig for so yeah I figured I'd post this. So the first thing you're going to need is a long black kind of just a base wig. It doesn't really matter what it looks like because we're going to cut it and style it later. Um, we're also going to need some styling products so I have some gel and some hairspray. I just put the things to make the horns like what I use. I already made them obviously. But um, I use Model Magic, and those have been drying for a really long time, actually. I made them a long time ago. Um, so I also use spray paint to use the color, like make the colors, and uh, put Mod Podge over everything. So, um, yeah, we also need a drill and a bit that's about the same size as the screw that you're going to be putting through the headband and uh, the headband itself. I have a piece of black scrap fabric to um, make the widow's peak. And then I also have a pair of scissors and hair cutting scissors for the wig and a drill. Alright, so that's just me showing the bits and now we're gonna make the holes into the headband just because the fabric around it is kind of really annoying to try and put a drill through it. So I'm just trying to cut away the fabric from the headband so that we could drill through and not get stuck on the fabric. And then it's easier if you have a friend or somebody here to help you to drill so that they can hold it and you can drill or other way around. Just make sure you're careful because that would really hurt if you touch the drill while it was moving. So first you start on a low speed to try and make a groove like I did there so that you could go faster and then go straight through it. Uh, you know when you're getting close when you get that spiral? right there that tells you that it went through and there's the hole and then I just put the screw through I know there's like a million different ways to do this this is just like how I put horns through a wig I just don't really like the look of the headband on top of the wig I think it looks better when you put it through so that's what I did with all of my other Homestuck characters too so then yeah, you put the, the headband onto the mannequin head, that's what I'm using anyway. And then find the place for the screw and then cut the little hole and then you can just shove the screw right through the weave, which is what I did. And then you have to drill a small hole through your horns so that you can put them through the screw. So again, it's kind of easier if you have somebody to hold that for you. <clears throat> Since Model Magic software it goes in like way easier. And then you fill it with hot glue and then just shove it down on the hole. Onto the screw. And then that's the next horn. And that's it. No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Alright, so then I cut the bangs off. Just to like eliminate that because that's not really what his hair looks like at all. So I just cut them to make the bangs like super short so that I can make my own um, hairline. And then you're gonna take a piece of scrap fabric and uh, you know about the same length as the hairline so that you can make the widow's peak. So that's what I'm doing there, just making sure that it's the same uh, length. And then you kind of make the basic shape, which just kind of looks like a really long triangle. <clears throat> I'm just drawing on the fabric to try and make the general shape. You can make that as like dramatic or subtle as you want. I know some people go like really far down, but I did not want it to be that dramatic. So that's what mine ended up looking like. And then you cut it out and you can go into the weave. Um, so you flip the wig inside out basically. And then you sew the piece of fabric into the top. So I just sew it through the, just like the top little seam where the like weft starts. 
and that is what it looks like when it's done. And then we're going to start putting the wax onto the wig. So I started using tacky glue and it wasn't really working so I started doing hot glue because that seemed to be working better. So um, I drew like a V of hot glue and then I started using these wefts that I got from I think it was my disciple wig, like leftover ones. And then you start gluing them onto the triangle. So it doesn't really look like matter what it looks like because I cut it later anyway. So. I'm trying to shape it here, so you just kind of hold the scissors on an angle and try and make like a really sharp, dramatic V kind of shape. Which can take some practice, because first it looks, you know, kind of choppy, but it gets there with styling and cutting and that kind of stuff. So then I start using gel to try and make it stay down firstly and also to make it more defined so that it doesn't just kind of look like there's hair there. So, <laughs> so it actually looks like a hairline. So I started rubbing that in on both sides and down where it peaks. And then I just hairsprayed it. And then since I'm picky, I went back in with scissors and tried to clean it up a little bit. I think there's like some little pieces of hair that weren't really cooperating. But when you hairspray them and gel them, it makes them like clump together. So it's actually easier to cut it into like a shape instead of having hair flying everywhere. And that's what it looks like when it's done. So, and that's my sister <laughs> wearing it after it was finished. And there's me again. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or anything, if you try to make this yourself, just let me know and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So. Thank you for watching.